So we are back on the podcast with Nadi this time. Finally, Nadi, welcome back, bro. I'm in Paris, guys. Yeah. So good to be here. Yeah. Finally. Finally. And we're here with a very special guest. He's a friend of ours. Um, I'll give him the mic to introduce himself. So please go ahead, bro. First of all, thank you for having me, man. Pleasure is ours, man. Pleasure, and I think Mark. we're more than friends after our, our adventure by the side of the road <laughs> that we one night. Yeah. I knew we were going to talk about this <laughs> straight away. Straight yeah. away. Like that, that like immediately uh, leveled up our bond. That was, the, yeah. it was like late night, 5 a.m. Yeah, just like car breaking down and you coming to the rescue. <laughs> That's what we're here for. Nadi, That's he, called uh, you, he called you at 4 a.m.? Yeah. I yeah. think so, yeah. It was yeah, yeah. really weird to receive this call. I'm like, what does this guy want right now? <laughs> I just saw him. Is this like a drunk call? Is what does he want? Is it a body I mean, call? Yeah. Is it a <laughs> <laughs> I really I just want to say that I'm really excited about this interview because uh uh well we have this uh, friendship first of all and yeah. other than that I I I think you're a very passionate person. You have so many so many projects on the side and I can't wait to talk about all that. Cheers, man. Really, such a such a pleasure to have you. Well, I think thank I you just echo me. everything Nadi says, to be honest. Cheers, yeah. man. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So uh, for the listeners that don't know me, I'm monoculture, a.k.a. stereoculture, uh, DJ from Beirut, music producer, architect, designer. Damn. <laughs> more, more. Give us more. more. Dentist. Uh, <laughs> scratch the last one. I'm not... Some You're people not believe it. No, I'm not a dentist. Good. <laughs> Not a Good, dentist. Bro. Okay. <laughs> Good. Mark, we know that you're uh, an established local DJ in, in the scene in Beirut. You've you've worked a lot there. Uh, you've DJed a lot there. You've also played around Europe. So can you tell us more about the background of your career and what the, the new listeners would want to know? Yeah, so basically I was born and raised in Beirut. So I started promoting parties in Beirut back in 2010 and mm -hmm. uh, it was basically to create my own platform to be able to play music and um, it's that's how it kicked off and I started touring uh, between Europe and the Middle East in 2017 up until the pandemic yeah we all we all had yeah. that and um, yeah so now I'm in Dubai I've had like a nice five month playing in Dubai and I'm um, going back to Beirut tomorrow, actually. Are you going for good or are you going to come back? Um, I'm coming back, definitely. So I'm going for a few weeks for a few gigs. And uh, after that, hopefully, I'm going to be gigging in Berlin, mostly. You're very attached to Berlin. We, we can see that from your, from your yeah, tours man. and stuff. So what can you tell us about the scene there? We all know what Berlin is, but I want to see it from your perspective. I mean, for me, Berlin is like the definition of uh, freedom. Mm -hmm. basically Ooh. and as an artist I like this one as an artist like i yeah. think this is something essential in order to be able to express whatever you yeah. want and uh, that's why i really enjoy playing there the reactions are always so intense it is and hopefully by october i'll be back in dubai for the new season we'll wait for you man yeah when the weather's better you're leaving right on I time. I follow the sun. <laughs> <laughs> you're re leaving when it, when right it's too hot time. in Dubai, I'm in, I'm in Beirut and yeah. Europe. And when it's too cold there, I'm here. So. Nice. Nadi, I you know, know you there's, want uh, yeah. there's actually a thing I really appreciate about you. It's uh, other than you play music and uh, you have amazing sound. And we really, you, really enjoy uh, listening to you. There's this other side of you as a designer. Yeah, you know, I knew. I, I was gonna I, tell Nelly. Yeah. I know there's a question you want to ask him, <laughs> so please go. And ahead. I think we 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 all have that. Yeah. You know, we all have our side projects, yeah. our passions, yeah. and everything. But I feel like you, this part of you, you really push it. And I would really like to know what you're working on right now. Yeah. So, I don't think people know, but I'm an architect and a designer. I have my own design studio. It's called Design Culture think like it's under the whole culture umbrella yeah and yeah. Uh, basically uh, what I do is uh, experimental uh, art and digital fabrication so I always try to uh, experiment forms 
and bring them to life, whether it's a piece of furniture, a sculpture, um, an apartment. And uh, yeah, that's it practically. So that's my daytime uh, daytime. I, uh, I, I didn't know you were an architect. Yeah, so basically I studied architecture for seven years. In Alba, no? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you like probably me. bumped oh. into Nelly. Yeah, we did, I guess. But like, really? I, I, I barely went to, like, I wasn't, I wasn't present. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> in universe, yeah. physically present, let's say. I wasn't physically present there. I was mostly sleeping because of All the right. gigs. Wait, the... uh, when, when, did you, when did you graduate? I graduated in 2019, right before, okay. the, right before the pandemic, actually. So I enrolled in 2012. And graduated okay. in 2019. So, yeah, that's why we have uh, three years uh, difference. Yeah. That's why I haven't seen you there. But cool, we have the same uh, same yeah. path in a way. Yeah, the same struggle. Nice. But, and like, But my car doesn't break down. So no. We have yeah. that, uh, so you have that added value, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, well, uh, actually, I want to I wanna take this question away from Jibez. He knows. Go I ahead, always man. Do yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, it's the superpower question. Oh. So if you had one, if, if you had a superpower, if I what had a superpower, you... yeah, yeah, what would it be? And you have he took superpower. it from uh, me, man. I used to always ask this question. What, what do you think the feather is? Oh, <laughs> the feather is it an antenna that connects fly. me basically I... to. It's an antenna, actually. It's not for the looks. People think it's for the looks. It's an antenna. <laughs> it's an antenna. You yeah. have a connection. Okay. Yeah, it connects me to a galaxy of sweet grooves, basically. Wait, so now oh. if, if, if we're going to have to <laughs> bring it down to you as a superhero, would it be the Featherman? The Featherman, I guess, yeah. Okay. That's a nice way to put nice. it. Nadi, write that down, man. You know why. I you am. know why. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we've heard uh, recently you, you lost that feather. Yeah, man. Like, something happened to that feather. And someone it was, like, took that feather, man. Come on, to someone find took that one. feather. And... Let's be real here. Why would someone take the feather? It flew, it flew off. Have you seen the feather? <laughs> Is it that? I've seen it. Yeah, you used to wear it when you used to yeah. play at Disco Banana, no? Uh, I did. Basically everywhere. I did, yeah. I, and I came to Dubai with it. And um, basically, it's really attached to the hat. And mm. like uh, you can only take you it off by snatching it. it. No? Yeah. Probably a bird did. <laughs> So, you know, one of those nights I came back home and yeah. I noticed like my head was light. <laughs> so, <laughs> and wait, um, wait, wait, you mean, you mean to tell me that you went all the way back home? Yeah. And he didn't, and he do didn't a head notice check. that you had yeah. like a 60 centimeter feather on your head. I mean, no, I like <laughs> last time. Uh, I mean, you said that it's a connection. How did you not lose I that? I wasn't connection? playing music, man, that time. I wasn't playing music. It was music, that blurry so, of a night, yeah. maybe. It was a very blurry night, and uh, <laughs> actually, it's uh, I forget that I'm wearing that. So, like last time, yeah. I walked into a, the lobby of a hotel in Dubai, and I forgot I was wearing a one meter feather. One and, like, meter feather. It was uh, yeah, it was one a meter. one meter feather. I just said you know? sixty centimeters. <laughs> That's like, way I, more. It doesn't really matter, you know. It's just the way you use it that matters. But like when I walked into the hotel, uh, people were staring in a very like eerie way. You know, it's like, a one meter feather, Mark. Uh, I was like, what's going on? <laughs> I forgot I was wearing that, so I was like, what's going on? And then when I get to the elevator, like I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Man. That's why you have the mirror. <laughs> Uh, but like uh, my good friends Hamza and Lara found another feather for me, yeah. and it was right on time for um, the 25-hour Come to Love Night party we How had was it? last week. Nice. How was it? It was definitely like the highlight of my year gigging, in du especially in Dubai. Really? Like, yeah, it was. It was out of this world. It was a crazy party. D do you think like it's going to be a regular thing now? We'll you can't wait, say? We'll wait and see. You can't say? We'll wait and see. <laughs> Nadi, to give you a background. Uh, yeah. Yeah, if you, uh, just Butch saying if you can put the mic a bit closer. Yeah, Is this I, okay? I sent the message to Mag. Uh, yeah. It's cutting a bit, so. All yeah, right. so I was saying, to give you a bit of a background of what this party was, the Grand Factory family, they... They came together and they they, they basically they organized. collaborated with the hotel, no? Yeah, it was the lunch party of the hotel. Mm -hmm. So and it was love night. They did love oh, night in yeah. Dubai. It was a two room party, which was 
Nutty, can you still hear us? Yeah, crazy bookings. Yeah, yeah. Perfect, yeah. <laughs> like you had... You uh, played on both stages? Yes, I did. So I was warming up the the main stage um, for Bedouin Burger. Uh, after that, there was Crazy P, uh, Lala Selector. And then I warmed up for Habibi, Habibi. Funk in, nice. The, nice. in the second room with also Was on the lineup, nice. uh, Zaid Khaled. And uh, yeah, it was... Was People it from home. That's nice. Cool. That's, that's cool. Man. And uh, there was two two stages. Uh, what, what was the the difference between the two? So the main main room was the the disco floor, and you had Bedwin Burger with the live Crazy P with their live and Lala Selector closing the night. And the second room was more of an Oriental yeah, the kind Habib. of the hab, kind of a Habibi room. It's like know? Habibi mm-hmm. Club, no? Yeah, yeah thing you exactly. For Habibi Club, yeah. nice. What, what happened to Habibi Club? It closed way before the whole thing. Um, I'm not sure, and mm. I'm not sure what the plans are. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I mean, we know that uh, that was a great party. I had a lot of friends there. I couldn't make it. Fortunately, but yeah, taking us to our next question, Nadi's not gonna take this from me. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. One person you dream to have a coffee with, dead wow. or alive? Dead or alive? A coffee. I think that's an important uh, factor to take into consideration. Mm. Like, I'd I'd love to have coffee with Miles Davis, but I'm not sure if he'll be like maybe a drink with Miles Davis instead of a coffee. <laughs> okay, that you, you can change it, you know. Or a coffee with James Brown. We'll send you the example. menu. You can choose which, yeah. and then <laughs> James Brown. Yeah, I, I think bad. James Brown like had why? had his like artist uh, mode on 24 seven. Yeah, like I, that's why I think the coffee would also be great. Mm. With James. But well, I'm not sure if yeah, I would yeah. understand anything he's saying. You, know, like. <laughs> <laughs> you feel you can relate to him, yeah. huh? If you had the chance to have another type of drink or another anything, who would it be? Who would that person be? Ah, a pina colada with Nadi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At Badaro. Yeah. In Badaro, yeah. I feel lonely here, man. <laughs> <laughs> what would you, you have, have with me? You have to join us in Beirut, man. You have to join us in Beirut. Nadi's in France. <laughs> Nadi's in France? Oh, you're in France? Yeah. 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 Since, Waiting for you September. to come man. and play. So I, I just burnt my pina colada away then. So. I'll join you in France maybe Why? in the summer or something. Yeah. Cool, I'm, going okay. to, I'm going to Madrid in July. Probably... Hmm? We're working gonna on pass something by, there, yeah. So. Probably gonna pass by in France. Okay. Maybe we can make it work. Yeah, we All can make that drink work. We Come can make that drink also. work. Yeah, yeah, let's do this that. This is so far the coolest beginning of a podcast we've had. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> You're flattering. Because we know you, man. We <laughs> yeah, know you yeah, very well. It's a fun one, man. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Nadi, take the next one. Shoot. Thank you. Thank Shoot you. Away, That's Nadi. very nice of you. Uh, so you're a local artist and you've been traveling the world, Dubai, Europe, etc. Uh, we like to ask our uh, our guests what what's your favorite club? What's your what's your favorite jam to to play in? I want to uh, ask you in Lebanon. Whether it was in Lebanon, Lebanon or not, um, I'm I have to say like uh, Winter Garden and Sisyphos was. I don't think anything topped that yet. Garden. Uh, Winter Garden. Winter Garden. It's uh, one of the rooms in Sisyphos in Berlin. Mm. And, Is it uh, that spectacular? Mm, it's a tiny room that fits about 60 people maybe. Wow. But like wow. the energy is so intense wow. all night. That design wise, as, a, as an architect, yeah. what club would you say is the best? Come on, man. <laughs> How am I not going to piss off anyone with that one? Yeah, I think I know where this is going. <laughs> like, um, I really think both, uh, like, there's a few clubs in Beirut that are, like, Standing amongst up. the top 10 clubs for me in the world, yeah. you know. Like, you have the garden. It's just, a, that's a festival. That's not that's a That's a very democratic way of saying uh, things. Man. That's a festival and not a club. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but like sadly the garden was yeah. taken well, down did you see that their ago. last video was so hard yeah it was like I was there every week you know it was um, I mean me, we used to have we used to do a festival every week and, and the sunrise yeah. there was spectacular and during the pandemic everything <laughs> I was thinking of was, was when am I going to step on that yeah. stage again you know and uh Sadly, that's not going to happen Anymore. anytime soon, maybe. The, they did, they're doing, they, I don't know if, 
la, la, la. They, they're <laughs> doing a party with Peggy Goo somewhere. Uh, I think it's in Bali. Bali. It's going to be Uber House, Peggy Goo in Bali. But it's a one one time thing? Uh, you know? I'm not sure. Mm. I think it is. Mm. And uh, you also have like uh, Rabi Ajaha's work. And I'm not sure if anybody collaborated with him. It was Am. Mm. Uh, I think the concept is really interesting. Am is, yeah. You have the pirate, like for me at least, the way I interpreted it was like a pirate, the pirate, pirate ship. ship, you know? Like yeah. it was, that's also <laughs> kind of a festival location and not a club. It is. It is. We we always like to have a special touch in our clubs in Beirut. Yeah, I mean, like you have all the tourists visiting those clubs and they're like amazed by mm. the quality of production that they have on like a regular night, you know, mm -hmm. it's not even like a... Man. Well... That's, uh, that's we a miss nice. uh, we miss home. It's hopefully. coming back. It's coming back. Hopefully, it, it is, is coming. Back. Shway, shway. So. Let's Step see if this, yeah. one, uh, this summer is gonna be the summer. Hopefully, hopefully. yeah, the comeback. You know, the comeback. Summer. You know, actually, uh, was it yesterday or two two nights ago? Uh, there was a party here in Paris with uh, Ronan and Ralph Nasser and Anton, and the whole crowd was Lebanese. I really yeah. felt like I was at home. That's it was kind of so what nice we were having in Dubai as well. Faces. I'm not sure if you've been to Monkey Bar, George. Yeah, yeah I've been, like, but I mean, not for the hot mess party. Uh, yeah, so. the hot mess party was basically what you're describing, Nadi. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like I where, where really was felt I was in Soul Kitchen in the Grand Factory, or <laughs> like it was literally uh, yeah, transporting yeah, the same DJs, the we're same everywhere. crowd, <laughs> maybe the same sound system. I'm not sure. <laughs> it was the literally same vibe. everywhere now. Yeah, to yeah, be yeah. honest. And it's sad, but I mean, hopefully we'll have a good comeback uh, nightlife wise. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think we need uh, we need a change in yeah. a way. Since we Nadi, need a fresh start. Since Nadi mentioned he was at the party of Anton and Ronan and Ralph. Ralph, we've had them on the podcast, but Anton and Ronan are going to be on the podcast this month. So we're excited to have them. Um, taking us to our next question. That's going to be Nadi or you? No, no, it's going <laughs> to be me. Is it going to be um, me? No, no, I'll, I'll, I'll take this one. It's the film score one. Yeah. If All you right. would have been Good. given the chance to do a film score from any movie, yeah. what movie would you choose and why? Hmm, another tough question. It's like so asking me what's my favorite song because like, I really love, I'm a movie fanatic, so. That's why, I me know. Too. Um... I would have to say either The Party or Dr. Strangelove. And both are starring uh, Peter Sellers. Mm -hmm. I, I think party? I'm going to go with The Party. Have you seen it? It's, no. I know yeah, Peter Sellers what? for sure. Like that movie. But I've never is, seen The Party. You have to see that. How movie. old is it? Is it it's, I think it's from 79. Wow. The 80s. I'm that mm -hmm. was a golden age in cinema. So yeah, I mean, like, I've always been a huge fan of uh, Kubrick, and that's how I, I yeah. discovered Peter Seller and, like, Dr. Strangelove, yeah. and that's what led me to the party. Mm -hmm. So I really recommend watching that movie. That's what led you to the what? The party. Really? Yeah. Okay. Because it's starring because, the main uh, One of our questions it's is what the led you to, to becoming who you are today ah. as an artist. But no, he's meaning the party, the movie. Actually. The movie, actually, the yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, so nice. we're gonna cut it, can have, it can have <laughs> things happen <laughs> to the best of us. Yeah. Magali, if you're hearing this, don't cut this part. Thank you. Huh? I'm telling Magali, if she hears this, don't cut the part. Keep Are we cutting anything? <laughs> Why? Let's Why? Keep it. <laughs> Why? Okay, yeah. cool, cool. Well, you know, Mark, I feel, feel you're a man of... Uh, of many secrets. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face, bro. <laughs> what was your yeah, first like... clue? Yeah. Is it the shade? It's the feather man. It's, it's the, the feather, feather man. man. Yeah. Yeah. And I wanna I wanna know if there is something your your uh, like listeners don't know about you and you wanna <laughs> share with us. <laughs> this is the time to do it. <laughs> yeah. Just okay. one man. Any I know just one thing. Thing. I mean, you'd really be surprised, and I, I don't think anyone would expect this, but like, I, I, I do not sleep with my hat on. <laughs> <laughs> really, I'm, I'm disappointed oh, right now. This is yeah. Shocking. So I'm that's uh, that's that's one of the secrets. Of, like, I don't know if how many hats do you have? How many hats do I have? Okay, I would say it's between thirty and forty hats. Yeah. These types of hats? Uh, they're all like uh, they have. Each mm. each one has his 
little gimmick. How, how can you differentiate like, like what might, what makes a hat a very good hat for you? A hat that you cannot find somewhere else. A rarity. Or that's yeah, nice. scarcity. Like something yeah. I wouldn't like find on someone's head at the same mm. party. Nice. You know, I this is I what will find uh, that and yeah. I will wear it. <laughs> Yeah. This is uh, this is what, I, what I like <laughs> about you. This is actually what I like about you. It's uh, it's people who like to who aren't afraid to really show who they are. Really, I mean oh, really? the hat, the feather. I've always appreciated that about you. I'm sure Thank some you, people man. find it weird, but yeah, I mean, they can. Uh, I mean, I mean uh, who cares? I, I like yeah. to look you at it as a genuine mark. I like to look at it as a social experiment, yeah. you know, like <laughs> let's yeah, see how far that. I can take this. Like let's try a two meter <laughs> feather next week. <laughs> Your style is different, but you lo- I, I feel like yeah. if I see someone else wearing this style, I'd say no, I would not see someone wearing your style. Your uh, your genuine your style expresses you, your type of music. Thank like you. I feel like when you used to play in Disco Banana, you used to wear this, the type of music you... And when you Thank go you. and play as monoculture, not stereoculture, you used to always come in, embody the... I mean, the that's, that's what I try to do. Like, I, I really think, uh, especially going with my line of work in architecture, that everything is correlated. And uh, it's, mm. uh, for me, it's the same thought process. It's, yeah. it's a cr- everything is... Crea- it's a, I'm doing a creative exercise, whether mm. it's uh, choosing what to play, whether it's uh, choosing what to design, whether it's what you're going to wear. Yeah. All of yeah. them boil down to like trying to please someone, like make someone uh, appreciate what you're doing. Yeah. Appreciate, so, exactly. Nice. Or inspire. I like or, that. that. That's cool, man. Uh, this takes us to our last question Ooh, of tonight. That's over? It's over. We're done? <laughs> Want to keep going? We can keep <laughs> going, we'll see, man. We'll see, We're we'll enjoying see. this. We'll see. We'll yeah. see. We'll see where this question I have a question. Us. I want to see if, uh, yeah. if GBS is going to steal it away from me. No, I don't think it's... Um, I mean, I was going to ask him if he has any exclusive announcements for this year. Yeah. If you have anything planned that you want to talk about. Getting so, married. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're getting yeah. a new car. I, I love this stare. I love this stare. <laughs> Man, like, <laughs> like, come on, give us the scoop. Come give on. Us the scoop. <laughs> come on, Mark. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, I've been working on a project for two years uh, with uh, close friends of mine and fellow artists that you all know. Mm -hmm. So we have co-founded a label uh, between uh, me, Eli, Atala, uh, Roland Bashur, known as Laurent on this project. Yeah, this type of music, uh, Uh, we had him. Yeah, Inconnu, James Awad, Mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. who is Bibbs? Uh, Lama Marakshi. Lama is the whole art, the art She's direction. She's handling you know? everything uh, regarding like the art direction, the visuals, yeah. and all of that. Uh, everything that's graphic about mm-hmm. the the uh, project. That's a great team, honestly. Uh, we're not done. Really? We have Nader Yunus as Audio Blend, and we okay. have uh, Gael Musa as Gael. Yeah. So yes. that's the team. We co-founded this label. It's called the Arab House Collective. And yeah. it's uh, based I've between seen it. Beirut and Berlin. Nice. And uh, we've had like about 20 releases ready the for the past year and a half. And uh, we're finally going to start dropping these. So we're launching Just the first... The mic. We're launching this first uh, EP, hopefully next month. It's nice. going nice. to be out. The first EP. Yeah, it's going to be a digital uh, release. Who's on it? Yeah. Um, I rather we wait and you find out. Okay. Like, uh, we're 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 basically for the first one aiming to have everyone on it. Nice. And That's very nice. nice. Yeah. So just as an introduction to uh, the project, mm-hmm. uh, we've had our lunch party at Ballroom Blitz mm-hmm. a month and a half ago. How was um, it? It was amazing. Nice. It was like the the energy, the people was. The support we got was really cool. And, That's great uh, to hear. We also like uh, been hinting on those uh, tracks on mm-hmm. a lot of uh, projects. And a lot of people have been asking us where, what ah. are those tracks. So one of them was... Nice, uh, even teasing. Yeah, we did like a live set uh, on Arte a year and a half ago. And when you played it. and um, Really? Yeah. So Ooh. It's been in the works for years then. Yeah, it's and like the full set was just unreleased materials basically and uh, wow we're finally coming out next month 
hopefully but you can well, check yeah. it out on i didn't know you were working on sorry i'm interrupting you yeah, i didn't sure. know you were working on this for quite some time yeah we like, like the first we the first round table were between us all to figure out what we're gonna do and if we're gonna like come together was in march 2020 Okay, mm. when when COVID started? Exactly. Exactly so when COVID started. Basically, uh, before right before COVID and the few months building up to it, yeah. Me and like the whole team, we'd end up playing in the same clubs on the same nights. Every you know, night. so I'd be playing in reunion. <laughs> yeah. Like you would have uh, Habib and Soul Kitchen, and you'd have Roland in the main room. <laughs> so you were always so, connected. Yeah, and then we'd end up yeah. in the same studio in the morning, yeah. uh, ordering our manaish and. Like, wow. like trying to uh, mess around the studio yeah and uh that's how the idea came out like why wow. don't we d create this mm. collective of uh artists and and try to do something with that that's a very nice story uh I like with that uh mark really i i uh i followed the the page on instagram as soon as it got launched same like i felt this is uh this is a good project yeah, really. thank you, man. can't wait to see what you're gonna release thank next. you man. i really value art direction and the design yeah lama is doing I, I, uh, an amazing is already, job like lama is I mean, doing just an amazing yeah, job she's she's very good at what she does so nadi you had a question and i also have a question as well after nadi <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah um i want to know if when you play is there do you have do you have fear of something? Is there something that scares you when you go on uh, on stage? Do you shit your pants? Uh, like the, <laughs> the biggest fear is usually like uh, the waiter not showing up or something. Like that. <laughs> not getting yeah. a drink. <laughs> not getting a drink. drink. <laughs> Question I've been waiting to ask you. I'm a big fan of Slayman Damien. Oh yeah. A big fan of his. I mean, Slyman introduced me to music. Yeah. You know, so. And this is why I yes. want to ask you. Yeah. I know that you guys were, I don't know, you guys are still very close, yeah. obviously. And I believe that he's probably the most talented producer. Yeah, definitely. And what he does yeah. in, in, in the region, probably. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I want to know how was your relationship with Slyman before? What did you learn from him? Because I know his process is not easy. And he's like very dynamic, very fast, very yeah. moving. I don't yeah. know you guys were, you guys were giving production class at Energy or something back so, in the day. So yeah, we had like a <coughs> project called Audio Suite. Um, it was a music production school that I was uh, managing back then, mm -hmm. and we had uh, we had instructors and uh, Slaymen and Tar were three machines were part. That's of what the I team. wanted to tell Nadi. If you didn't know who yeah. Slaymen was, he was yeah. part of three machines. I it's think like, you mentioned that. Now he's uh, no, now he's, he's Papi Chill, like his yeah. new alias, basically. Yeah. Uh, I'm having him on the podcast in May. Ah, amazing. Yeah, amazing. that's gonna that's be gonna be a, yeah, discussion. that's gonna be a fun podcast, yeah. man. He so. works with my girlfriend, the same studio. Okay, yeah, the what was Soundstruck. it? Soundstruck. Soundstruck, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, I met Slyman at a party, uh, one of the parties I used to promote in 2012, and. Um, I don't know what happened that night, but... Uh, That's weird, bro. Like, yeah, I think... <laughs> I, I, I think he, like... Uh, we stumbled upon each other during the party. Like, uh, it was a small brawl, like, mm -hmm. pushing... Someone pushed him, like... Okay. Anyway, like, uh, we ended up have, having, like... We introduced ourselves to each other, and, like... Uh, uh, I was starting to uh, catch interest in producing music. So we started hanging out, uh, going clubbing uh, every weekend. And uh, after, after the club, we'd be like f filled with inspiration. Yeah. We'd go back to his studio and he would do his magic and I would just watch, you know, Whoa. for like, I, yeah. uh, for the first few months, I was just watching and trying to keep up, you know, like this, as you said, like, <laughs> the guy is so fast. Man. So <laughs> fast, bro. I mean, when uh, he talks to you, he's very fast. So I figured uh, I started like uh, following his workflow and uh, he mentored me for years in music production. That's and, very nice. Yeah. To have Slay Man as a mentor, bro, that's... Yeah. That's something. I I first met Slayman when I went to masterclass for DJ Lab. Yeah. They were having like multiple masterclasses. They they also had Jerome, which is the artist I manage with. I believe also he's one of the best producers in the region. Nice. Shout out to Jerome. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, but I've 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 seen him on stage with Tare. They were breaking down Antara, how they made it. Yeah. And bro, oh. he, he was recording the weirdest shit and coming out with the sickest sounds, man. Yeah, man. Like, uh, as you said, it was weird. <laughs> yeah, it's him and <laughs> I'd be, these I'd two be. on a Zoom mic. Like, I'd be visiting his house and like I'd be in the elevator as soon as the elevator opens I'd see like Slime in is like bent over on like the door and trying to squeeze the door with his recorder and I'd wow. be like what and then he turned that squeezing sound into a violin and exactly. the track you know like it's That's so crazy yeah so it's crazy did, did like, he use the sound for, for this track uh, he uh, I don't remember uh, I like, think he used it was Megalith I think as uh, one of their hits oh. as well for, so. for Antara they used a lot of Water, I th- I'm not sure. Uh, they were like, yeah, the ice shaking in a glass. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. Oh that's, my god. Yeah, that's nice. Crazy. Because that's one of my favorite tracks, and yeah, it's yeah. nice too. It's a masterpiece. It like blew, it blew up back then. It was yeah. a hit, man. Like it was the hit of the yeah. year. So it was the best track of the whole VA. Yeah, I think yeah. it was on a VA for Sinopat. Uh, uh, Syncopat. Yeah, Syncopat. it was on. I Syncopat. always say Sinopat, bro, and it's Syncopat. <laughs> Syncopat. I always say it's like a Syncopat. You know? <laughs> <laughs> think of it that way. <laughs> <laughs> taka, taka, you know taka music? No, no. Taka. I've heard of taka music, yeah. <laughs> oh man, bro, I'm enjoying this. Guy. Yeah, that was yeah, nice, yeah. man. Was I was nice. uh, Thank you for actually having thinking me, boys. that we were uh, talking about him now and yeah. then when we're gonna uh, be with him. On our next next box podcast, sorry, we're gonna be talking about you. I can't like, wait to see what you're gonna, gonna have. Yeah, you're gonna have you. to ask him. Let, let's see what he's gonna Slay mention man? about yeah. that night. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna go. The I'm night gonna, we met. Gonna go let's see if he's gonna go have a full question for him. We, we can ask him. Yeah, cool. Andakshi, do you yeah. have any question that you want us to ask for Slay Man? I'll probably jump in the podcast. So look, yeah. I have a. Uh, someone no, really just the same hate. question you asked me like how did you meet and yeah. stuff like let's see what he's gonna reveal <laughs> okay <laughs> how would you rate cool. mark out of 10 <laughs> music wise yeah, Two. man uh i mean i think we covered everything uh yeah just one last thing if you had three tracks that would that got you into electronic music mm. what are these three tracks mm. or an album or an album. Um, or a girlfriend. Or a girlfriend. Because <laughs> Nadi um, believes that woman shapes us. And they definitely do. True. They definitely do. That's very true. true. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to all the I women a, out there. I, I have a tattoo of that on my body. Yeah. So, shout out um, to all the women out there. We shout out to all the women out there. Yeah. Uh, I think it's going to have to be Strobe by Dead Mouse. And strobe by that mouse and, and strobe, strobe by, by that, that mouse. mouse. Yeah. Yeah. I would put strobe and I would put that fucking there. That was the first track I uh, that got me into electronic music. It yeah. was the first track I ever played at a gig and it was the first track I played on the radio. Wow. Yeah. Wow man. Same. Do you know strobe, Nadi? Uh maybe not the name, so it's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. check it's, get it's back an to an absolute you. Sa- classic probably. Def- uh, dead mouse stuff. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, probably yeah. yeah. This would go on for ages. I was going to ask you about your your radio uh, experience. Yeah. Should, should we keep going? I've been I I've done radios for uh, I did radios and I started in 2012 and uh I ended the show like a few 6 months ago maybe. Yeah. 7 months ago. How was that radio? Cause I'm I'm a big radio head and yeah how was that experience it was do you believe like we're shifting more on a video podcast type and is ra- is fm dying um i mean in media usually like uh well people thought that magazines were gonna go away right and they're clearly still here but yeah. it's just a, un- in a different format it's, yeah same thing is gonna be for radios yeah. uh, so um the experience really shaped me i was working for energy nostalgia and their whole holding so it really exposed me to a lot of music there's something uh being exposed to all these different kind of music that yeah. i don't necessarily want to listen to every day but <laughs> it, w- it was shaping uh my musical uh, background basically and uh, yeah i had a weekly show for how many years 2012 are they still running the electronic almost music nine years man underground shows and in, in the wow. radio uh underground shows uh I, like i wouldn't say there's underground music no. on the radio um, like i mean show- mix fm 
Mix FM used to have like these big shows on yeah, Saturdays. They did. So yeah. we were just uh, talking about your uh, radio experience with energy and your background yeah. and how it shaped you, helped you. I think it's taking us to our last question. <laughs> Shoot. That's too sad. Yeah, man. Oh, so it's my turn now. We can just stay here though, right? Like, hit the yeah, bar yeah. or something. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> We're going to have so lunch so after this. <laughs> Amazing. Have lunch with us. Okay, cool. Yeah, and that's Wish go I ahead, was bro. there. Cool. Uh, monoculture, I... I think we're reaching the end of our interview and I just want to see if you have anything to say to your to our listeners today. Hmm. If you have my feather, uh, please bring it back. <laughs> please bring it back. You mother. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just give it just back. Beep. Give it, give Add it back, a l- long beep to it. Yeah. <laughs> if you got the feather and listening to that. Just bring it back. Give. Just give Mark Is his it, feather, man. You, where did you get that feather, bro? Uh, it was a gift. Mm. It was a gift. And it meant Which quite a lot. Which means he won't tell you where he got it. Yeah. Yeah. The secret. <laughs> no, like, <laughs> nice really trick, Mark. Question, <laughs> nice trick. Yeah, it really was a gift. And it, mm. it's a very meaningful uh, mm. one. So please bring it back. Where's the camera? Which one is it? Please bring it back. Nothing will happen to you. Yeah. We won't hurt you. We won't Just hurt give you. It back. Just do that. Mark, that was a pleasure. Thank you for having really me, man. really enjoyed it, It was really Yeah, it was nice to, Thank you, to remember the days of, uh, of your. your car breaking <laughs> down. <you know? laughs> really. The days of your. And, uh, it was fun. It was really fun. Yeah, like, it was. Uh, can't, can't wait Let's to do see it you again, when yeah. you come to Paris. Of course. Yeah, yeah. We'll do it again. We'll do it in Paris this time and you'll be on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, think, I, think it's, I think it's only fair. Okay, yeah. Okay, I mean, come on. Okay, I mean, come okay. on. <laughs> yeah. Deal. Uh, I think we we're expecting a, a gas mix. So yeah, for sure. The set is yours, bro. We're yeah. gonna do that. Let's go.